All right, here we are. We're gonna learn about our medication and our supplies and how to use them. So you know when you get your delivery, you're gonna get your medication in a vial. It may look like this, it may be in a black vial or a brown one, doesn't matter. You'll get a syringe, you may get one or two sizes and you'll get some alcohol pads. And then optionally, if you have some Kleenexes at home, some people like to use Kleenexes. This is all you're gonna to need to do your injections, but we're gonna walk through step-by-steps on each one of these and how to use them. So let's start with our medication. So medication is gonna come in the mail. As soon as you get it in the mail, you wanna put it in your refrigerator. This medication has to stay cooled. This is a peptide that can be broken down over time. So as soon as you get it, please put it in the fridge and only take it out when you're gonna take your doses. When you get medication, it's going to be sealed on the top. You'll either have a cap like this or you'll have like a little metal disc. In the case that it's a cap, all you do is you pop off the cap and it's gonna expose a little rubber ring in the middle of this silver disc. If it doesn't have a cap, it'll have a second silver disc in it. All you do is you take your fingernail and pop it off and you'll expose that rubber area. This is where we're gonna be putting our needle to get the medication out. So I'm gonna put that here and I'm gonna move on to the syringes next. When you get your package, you're gonna get a syringe or you might get two. The different reason we might get two is because we're gonna be changing our doses over the course of the next couple months. We're gonna be taking different volumes. Sometimes it's easier to take the syringe out of the smaller volume, which is 30 units or 0.3 mils, or out of a one milliliter larger vial, which is 100 units. Um, depending on the medication dose I tell you to take, get the right vial that's easiest for you. Now, when you're looking at your syringe, you'll notice that they have a set of numbers on the side and this one is particularly going from zero to 30 units. But also right next to it, it also has zero to 0.3 mils. Be careful about which one I tell you to use. Look at the syringe. Always look whether you're measuring milliliters or you're measuring units. I will tell you um, when you take your medication how to do it in both. Um, of course, taking 15 units will be easier out of this syringe and we'll be out of this syringe. However, you won't be able to take 60 units out of this syringe, you'll want to use the bigger one. So just kind of use your discretion which one you will use. Every syringe has a cap on the top protecting the needle, and sometimes it has a cap actually protecting the plunger. Simply twist the cap off the plunger if it exists. Take a look at the plunger and make sure that it's all the way up to zero mark. If it's not, go ahead and push that plunger all the way to the top before getting started. So we're gonna be using our 30 units syringe today with our medication um, to do our injections. Second, you're gonna get some alcohol pads. You can get one or two alcohol pads depending on how you like your injections. We're gonna use one to clean the bottle and one to clean our skin. So when you get your alcohol pads, go ahead and open these up, get them ready such that they're easy to reach out to. Just like such. Let's talk about getting the medication out of the bottle next. So we're gonna take our bottle. We saw that there is a little rubber plunger within the silver disc. We're gonna to wanna to put the needle of this uh, syringe directly into that spot. But before we do that, we're gonna take our first alcohol pad and we're gonna thoroughly clean that area. Next, we're gonna take our syringe, take off the needle cap. Be very careful from this point forward, making sure that our plunger is pushed all the way to the end. Remember, just go ahead and push it all the way through. And the way to easiest to get the medication out is to hold this sideways, aim right for the center with your needle, and push it all the way in. To withdraw the fluid, simply pull back on the plunger. You'll see some fluid come back. It's usually clear, but could be a yellow color as well. It does not matter. And pull back to the exact dosing that I suggested. In this case, I said we're gonna do 15 units. So I'm gonna pull back to the 15 unit mark here. If you're having a hard time getting the fluid out, tilt it up on its, on its end and go ahead and pull back to the number itself. Now, sometimes you'll notice that you'll have a little air bubble come in there. You do wanna get that out. The best way to do this is to actually hold the syringe and to tap it with your finger and you'll see that air bubble goes to the top. Now we're gonna push that air bubble back inside the, the our medication again, and we're gonna pull back to the original number that we wanted. So there I got 15 units. I'm gonna come out and I'm going to keep our needle in a nice safe spot. Usually within the cap. I'm just gonna put it right there for now. 
Now I'm going to take my second alcohol pad and use that to prep my skin. So now choosing a spot on your body to inject this is totally up to you, but the principle is you want to make sure you have fat underneath the skin you inject it. So a lot of people like using the abdomen, the love handles, the thigh, or even the upper arm. I find out that, I say I found out for myself that it's a lot easier to inject the love handles for myself because it's right off my side. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my shirt here. I'm going to grab a pinch of my skin. I'm not going to squeeze too hard because I don't want to inject under pressure and accidentally get this medication back out. So I'm just kind of grabbing my skin lightly, grabbing the rest of this alcohol pad, cleaning the area, getting my syringe ready, taking the cap back off. And I'm just going to put this needle kind of close to my skin where I have it nice and stabilized. And you're slowly just going to push it in. It's a very, very small needle. You will likely not feel it. Once it's in, I want you to go ahead and slowly push the plunger in over the course of three seconds. And I just want you to hold that syringe there once you're done injecting for about five seconds. Be careful not to pinch your skin here and push the fluid out. Once you're done in five seconds, pull the needle back out, rest on the table. Most of the time you won't see any bleeding, but if you do, this is where the Kleenex comes in handy. Just wipe the little area off. It will not bleed continuously, so it's such a small hole. But that's all we have to do to take our injections. But cleaning up is also very important. Number one, make sure you put the cap back on your needle. Dispose of this in a nice, safe spot. Take your medication and put it directly back inside the refrigerator so it can stay preserved for as long as possible. And that's all you have to do for your injections, usually on a weekly basis, unless we uh, change your regimen to twice a week.